Hello, today I'll be showing you how to make a tube in Blender 2.45, not 4.6 because I, I have some um, minor defects with it. Okay, so uh, you notice this nice cube, okay, all perfect and stuff. Let's delete it. Press X and click, okay? Now, let's go back to top view, 7 on the numpad, okay? Now. Uh, we are going to add um, a weird curve called Bezier Curve. So press space, uh, curve, Bezier Curve. Okay. So the first thing you might notice: uh, two segments, right? Pink, orange, and a curved line. Okay. This is in edit mode. By uh, by pressing tab, you go into object mode, and you see only the the curve. Okay, this is the the only thing that actually matters now. Now let's go back to edit mode, and editing, uh, pressing F9 or just selecting this square. Okay, well first I'm going to increase the resolution from 12 over here uh, to let's say 56. Okay, and um, well later. I'm going to show you other options, but now we need 3D, okay? You notice the curve has changed, it's now a path, and you can uh, modify it on all the three dimensions, like this. Okay, so uh, the basics in uh, editing, G is for movement, G any axis for uh, that axis, okay? Uh, scale, S again any axis although this won't help in uh, one one vertex one, one vertex only yeah um, and we have R for rotation any axis you know whatever you want or double R for trackball like this okay so we have a liney curve like this a sine wave almost, but not exactly. So uh, having this curve already done, let's go top view again, 7 on the numpad, space, and add a curve, Bezier circle, okay? This will be our bevel object. The curve will um, replicate this circle along the whole path thing, okay? So that's how it works, I think. But we're going to name it differently. You know, select the circle if you haven't already, and go to editing. This thing changed its name. Okay, let's say X. Okay, object X. Now select the curve again, and go into this little setting, bevel object. Now, what do you think we're going to type in? X, of course. Yeah. And look at that, it's uh, very nice, okay, pipe-like, and we can still edit it live, okay, so you know, just uh, extrude if you want, by the way, that's by pressing E, as in Easter, and you know, just make your own uh, pipe. I'm gonna try a um, weird thing, but I don't think I'm going to su su succeed. Tooth fairy, almost. Okay, so um, if you're wondering how how I finished this uh, this tube, I pressed C in edit mode. Okay. To link uh, the ends. Okay, so now you have the basics done. We're going to move to advanced. Yay, advanced. Um, let's uh, let's make this circle bigger. Yeah, proportional. Yeah. And if you want to increase the height of this thing or any other axis, uh, don't do it from object mode. Why? Because uh, it doesn't keep the proportions all right. Okay, let's see. From object mode, it stretches the whole tube thing. Okay, from edit mode, it keeps the proportion all right. Okay, so let's center this. Okay, good. 
and uh, let's let's delete this uh, bevel object for now because I'm going to do a path work and that's kind of hard if you have obstructions okay so select the camera and then shift right click on the curve now press ctrl P to parent and follow path it's all done okay so press alt A to see the animation and you might notice it's a bit uh, random like okay so that's definitely not good so we're going to um, increase you know, the efficiency of this curve by moving the camera on the curve okay uh, number yeah, actually it's zero on the numpad is for camera view shift F is for fly mode and double R for trackball okay so that's for the final adjustments no. let's see it's gonna take a while yeah mm, almost there right yeah it's all right a bit uh, a bit you know fast but never mind that we're going to change that select the curve and into editing uh, get this path length let's say to about 250 that's uh, the total amount of frames uh, one object needs to travel a whole course okay so let's preview again still uh, fast but that's a wormhole right now let's uh, redo that bevel object thing X and let's preview yeah it looks almost nice yeah but good enough for um, you know a start we're going to hide this little thing unless you can make I uh, know convert to curve by pressing alt C and duplicating the path first actually if you want to make uh, minor adjustments to the mesh otherwise you know just leave it as it is okay so let's hide this uh, circle select it and press M and 2 or any other layer this means it it's moved to another layer okay two circles sorry that's f that's for me only okay so let's um, you know just uh, mess with the settings in the materials by, by the way f5 or um, shading and let's make it cyan ish good enough yeah shadeless and wireframe okay let's render it's good enough right I'm gonna add some uh, special effects for me go into sequence that's by pressing control and right arrow twice yeah uh, let's add glow and you know all that stuff useless and useful settings and of course motion blur this will be a, a ride yeah see okay so uh, lots of renders and you're basically done okay David Chan over and out